Hello everyone and welcome to Kim's Cozy Corner. It is uh, the end of August and we got some summer cleanup to do. We got to get some stuff out and we've already started and I didn't turn the camera on. So the camera's on now and we're going to get started. Today, my little helper and I are going to clean out some of these dead plants. So um, it's been a really, really weird season. It got hot early, then we had a cold spell, the heat's coming back. So we're gonna clean out some of these dead summer plants as we start prepping for the fall garden. And so yesterday I took the privilege of start cutting stuff back and then I just cut it and dropped it. Today, we're gonna start by cleaning this up and Charlie's gonna help me. So let's get to it, you ready? Let's get the wagon over here, okay? And I need to grab us some gloves. Yeah, we may actually do a little harvesting along the way as well because um, as I was cutting down the dead leaves and dropping them yesterday, I knocked a little bit of fruit off as well. So we're gonna make sure we harvest that today because I didn't pick it up yesterday. I've had my driver's license just a little bit longer. You don't have the cart driver's license? No. No? no. Well, we got to practice some more. You got a permit? You got a driver permit for this? No? We got to practice some more then. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's some stuff on the ground over there. This right here. And we got some over there. So I'll start over there, okay? I will put our basket right here. So if we see something that needs to be harvested, we can throw it in a basket because I dropped a lot of tomatoes and stuff on the ground yesterday. All of this, so there are some grape vines in here, uh, tomatoes, um, what else? Cucumbers, tomatoes, grapes, squash, anything that was dead, that's what we got. Oh, that one wasn't dead and I didn't get it. Hmm. There's one cucumber right here. That's good. These cucumbers didn't do well. Oh my God, there's so many squash bugs. Ugh, ugh. I mean, so many. So I thought it was just me having issues with squash bugs and um, cucumber beetles. But as I've been watching some of the other uh, creators, everybody seems to be having that issue this year. It's just a really, really heavy year of pest. But we're going to get these out of here. And we're full, so once I pick this up, I want you to take that on around to the compost, okay? Yes. All right, so we're going to pick this up. We'll get all of this over. Honestly, I don't want to put that in the compost. The squash, we're going to have to we're gonna to have to put that in the recyclable trash, yard waste. Um, so I tell you what, we'll take this pile to the yard waste because I have um, tomato plants that's diseased in here, cucumber plants that's diseased, as well as squash. So we won't go to the compost pile. We will go to yard recyclable waste this trip. Okay. Move out. Bugs. Yes, them. yes, they're all over it, aren't they? Let's see if beep, 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 beep. Y'all, I finally got it. I finally got it. I have been trying to get this tree out from the roots for years, for years, and I got it, y'all. <laughs> tree root you are done for 
I don't have no squash bugs on me, do I? Okay, because they were infested bad. You don't have to beat me up, though. Spiderweb, yuck. Man, I tell you what, these bugs like me too much. So I gotta be kind of careful as I'm pulling out some of the summer, you know, died back fruits and vines and stems and everything. A few videos ago, I was pulling out what I thought was a weed and I had multiple viewers tell me it was something called Callaloo or something like that, Cataloo, uh, which was a type of green amaranth that was delicious. Well, ever since I pulled that out, I've been looking for it and I can't find it anywhere. So I got to wait for it to come back up, but it grows wild in my garden. And for the last two seasons, I don't know why it keeps coming up and I just keep pulling it out thinking it's a weed. So I just want to thank the viewers who call that out because I am willing to try it since it's so plentiful in my garden. Now, once I get everything cleaned up really good, we will, uh, on another video, start planting some of our cool season or fall season uh, crops. And we will direct sow because I didn't start any seedlings. There's just not enough time for everything. So since I didn't start any seedlings, everything will have to be direct sown. And we'll put that on another video. And y'all, these are my bush cucumbers right here. And y'all, I came out here two days ago and I would say it's 50% dead from the squash vine borers. So I don't know, should I pull it out? Should I leave it? What should I do? We're definitely gonna harvest cucumbers off of it because we're not gonna let those go bad for sure. But should I just let it stay in here for a little longer? I don't know. I don't want it to, you know, help these, I said squash vine borers, but I meant cucumber beetles. I don't want it to create a breeding ground for more since I already have them in the garden. I don't want to keep bringing them into the garden, but I don't want to run out of cucumbers either. But here's a couple, a couple cucumbers. This was my Space Master 80. It's a bush cucumber. The vines don't get very long. And so they kind of stayed over in that area. But y'all, the, the bugs, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but those cucumbers are pretty much done. But I do have cucumbers in a few other areas. Oh man, they are completely infested. Y'all, I'm gonna pull them out. I don't see any cucumbers that's close to being ready. They're either completely ready now or there's nothing there that's even close. Yeah, we're gonna take them out. It might help with some of this pest pressure in the garden, which I've never seen the likes of before. So yeah, my, my little helper over there is doing such an amazing job. She's already taken the next load out for me. Just so many bugs. Now, I still have cucumbers, don't get me wrong. I have cucumbers growing in my green stalk vert vertical planters. I have some green stalks growing in one of my Vigo Garden metal raised beds as well. So we're not out, out. I'm getting ready to go out of town for another business trip. And uh, with, without me being here kind of looking after them, to see if they're infesting other plants. I think it's best that I just let them go. But we did harvest. We did get some harvest off of them. Now that looks pretty good.
You got that one all done? Best helper ever. I tell you what, why don't you go ahead and get the little carrot container over there. And I have carrots over here that need to be harvested. There's so many blooms on this thing. Y'all, I can't get rid of this. Now I need to get rid of the dead stuff for sure, but there's so many blooms. Oh, and I see some that are trying to grow. So I may have messed up y'all. I may have messed up. Y'all look at all these blooms and this one was in good shape. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop cutting these out. It might be too late. Oh, that one's broke. Yeah, like I said, it might be too late. I may have already done the damage. The damage may be done. I have been known to be impatient <laughs> because that's what I believe was happening right now. I should have just waited. Now, some of these were rotten at the roots. Some of these are wilted, some are rotten at the roots, and some of them look amazing. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Like this is completely died back. I'm not going to cut anything else out. There's a couple good ones in there. Look at that. They look good. Oh, that's one? That's weird looking. Okay, keep going or are you about done? Okay, just double check, make sure you got them all. Behind the cucumbers, I have, oh, there's some nice cucumbers. Please tell me I didn't cut this one out. I didn't, I didn't, that one's still good. All right, behind the cucumbers, I have some beans. So more bush beans growing in a couple of containers back here and they look good so we'll make sure we don't mess those up for sure okay i was worried i'd have messed them all up but i didn't not all of them i messed some of them up but not all oh huge cucumber back here nice cucumber just need to get the dead ones away from the good ones and nice cucumber beetle on it <laughs> The root is completely rotted out on this one. Completely rotten. Look at that. Completely rotten. So that whole thing was going to die anyway. But I do have a few more cucumbers in here. We are going to try to save. We're going to try. What do I have to lose, right? <laughs> At this point, I have nothing to lose. Y'all look at these blooms. Look at this. These are potatoes and they're taller than I am. Now granted, we're in a 17 inch metal raised bed, but y'all look at this. It's got cucumber beetles all over it, but they got blooms, beautiful violet blooms on this one. Now I don't remember what potatoes down below until I get ready to harvest, but this is second round potatoes. And I believe I put them in the bed early July, I believe. All of the potatoes in the raised beds seem to need to be harvested a little earlier than expected. And if that's still the case, we'll be harvesting these sometime in September, but 90 days. And I know I got early potatoes, mid season and late potatoes in here. But if I really put these in July, Third, I'm only about 60 days in, not quite 60 days, but I'm getting close to 60 days. So there's still quite a bit more time on these. They look good, they're healthy. I don't see a whole bunch of spots or anything. I mean, are there a couple spots? Yes, but for the most part, y'all, they look good. Let me bring the camera over here so you can see just how good they do look. And then that's the hack job that I did on my cucumbers. I hacked them all up, y'all. I hacked them so bad. And then the potatoes, though. Y'all look at them. 
you would think this was my first round of potatoes. They are looking good. Now this bed is on drip, so they get a more even watering. The potatoes in the back over here, in this area here, I planted them first. I think like one row or two rows or something, and then everything else I planted at the same time. In the back are all last year potatoes that I reused, and those are those super tall ones. And then down on this end, these were all seed potatoes, but I don't remember what kind at this point. Y'all, the garden looks so much better now that we've got all that old squash out and all the dead leaves and the vines and the cucumbers and all of that dead stuff. Let me show you how good it looks now. So I harvested all of the dead leaves off of all of these plants right here. All of the dead leaves are gone. Nothing's left but a little bit of green. Same thing in this space here. I got a lot of the dead leaves. There's a few yellow leaves over there, but for the most part, I got all of those cleaned up as well. Got that squash out from over there that was full of squash bugs. And um, I did take some spray and I sprayed that ground over there really, really good. So I have the bugs on the run and that might not have been a good idea, but that's what I did. But I kept that one squash plant in over there. It's green, it's healthy. The root looks good on it. This plant looks really, really good. And I'm sure all the bugs are gonna be on it in a week, but it looks really good right now. It's got a few yellow squash on it and it might be the last yellow squash I get this year. So we're gonna leave that one. All of the dead cucumbers are off of this vine right here. We cleaned that space up really good. I had some carrots right here. We got all the carrots out. So now the front side of this bed is pretty empty. I did leave one little cucumber vine right there. I got a, um, one cabbage right there, but this space right here is open. So we'll plant some seeds in there very soon. There's a pepper way back there that I need to get harvested, but I gotta be careful because those are hot peppers. I harvested the dead squash that was over here as well. I pulled off a ton of the um, grape leaves. Now I'll have to prune it up much better here very soon, but I just wanted to get it out so I could get back there again. I couldn't even get behind this front bed because of all of those grape vines. And I still need to take care of that space back there. There's still a lot of dead uh, cherry tomato vines back there, but y'all, I got tired and I quit. And I quit on the corn. I still need to get the corn out from back here. So right there's corn and over there is just a little bit of corn. But y'all, it's break time. So we're gonna end part one of the garden maintenance right here. And when we come back, we're gonna harvest the rest of the stuff in the garden but it's break time and we're gonna end right here. Thank you for joining me and Charlie for the video. If you liked it, thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family about the channel and turn on those notifications, please. So until next time, and next time we'll be here in just a few minutes after a break. And I hope there will be a next time that you join me, Kim, at Kim's Cozy Corner. Bye. See you in a little bit.